Hey guys, welcome back to another live tutorial here with me on my YouTube channel. I love doing these lives with you because I'm able to answer any questions that you may have and we can go through any hiccups together um, that we may encounter along the way. So for today's live, I'm going to be doing one of these beautiful black marble tumblers. These have been so popular on my Instagram and on any platform that I show these on. Um, hey Lydia, it's good to see you. Hey Annette, hey Lisa, good morning everybody. Um, hey Jessica. So let me log on here. I'm waiting on just a few of you guys to jump on because I want to make sure that we can answer questions along the way. Um, these are one of my favorite tumblers to make because they are so easy to make. Also, they take, honestly, let's say if I'm doing it start to finish just by myself, it takes about 20 minutes and it's done and then i just have to apply a couple coats of epoxy and the whole cup is finished and it's beautiful and so if you stay with me to the end um we will be doing a giveaway for the tumbler that i'm making live with you today thank you becca so um if you guys will just go ahead and thumbs up the video um i'm so thankful that you're here and i'm able to see um the comments on the side so yeah lydia my crafter makes me happy too i am so thankful is anybody here crafting along with me or let me do this if this is your very first live will you drop me an emoji if this is your very first live that you have ever watched oh there's davia hey davia it's so good to see you so, your very first live, just drop me an emoji. Lots of emojis. Yay! Guys, I'm so happy to see you here. Be sure to subscribe because I do have a ton of tutorials coming out for the holidays um, with crafts and with tumblers and with Cricut and with Impress Art. And I have lots of beautiful glitter from lots of beautiful vendors that I'm excited to bring you guys and show you. And we're just going to have a really good time on the channel this holiday season. Are you guys so excited for Christmas? Yay! So, Jessica is making geode cups right now. Amber is crafting with me, making a Christmas countdown. Brittany, yes. it's I love to catch the lives. They're so much more fun. Um... So if you've never done a giveaway with me before, good morning, Miss Terrell. If you've never done a giveaway with me before, here's how it works. I will tell you how we do um, the giveaway at the end, whether it's you pick my favorite. Um, no, we're probably going to do just make a comment after the live is over. So that way your comment shows up. Right now it shows up like a live feed, but then after the comment is, after the video is live, just leave me a comment. Um, so, then <laughs> an additional way that you can enter is doing the super chat. The true super chat is the little dollar sign and that doubles, um, it tells me who has done the super chat and that will double your entries. So, we will draw for this beautiful tumbler that I am going to make with you live on Friday, which is just a couple days away. I'm so excited. All right, you guys. So, if you're ready to get started, I'm going to bring you down. One of the cool things that I can do on Amazon is I can create a shop for you just for tumblers, everything you need to get started. And that's what I have done, especially if you guys have not jumped into this or you don't really know what to get but you know that you want to make tumblers um i have done that on amazon and i'm going to link all of the links that you need to know after the video has gone live in the description box so you'll have the link to my faux rizzle which is the best epoxy in the world you'll have the link to the art resin white um epoxy tint look at that paint 
RSN white epoxy tint. You will have the links to the glitter that I'm using today, which is Darley Dell, one of my favorites from Peachy Olive, and um, Belieber, which is another one of my favorites. And when I do these marbles, I like to use the same color family, um, but I just like to go a shade above or below. Does that make sense? So let's say that I want to use purple. I'll use a lighter shade or a darker shade. But then with these black marbles, I always use white as the vein. So I'm so excited to show you guys how to make these. Let me go ahead and bring you down. Okay, here we go. So I've went ahead and got the tumbler spinning. Thank you, Becca. So Becca now has a sample, that's an example of a super chat and she has double entries into the giveaway. Thank you, Becca. So this is what we are making today. It is the black marble tumbler. So let me go ahead and turn on the light so you can guys see all the good sparkle and shine. And show you how shiny that faux rizzle is. It's almost not even fair. It looks store-bought. How beautiful is that? Yes, Devin, my second, yes. The K is absolutely beautiful. So look how shiny faux rizzle is. I really need to turn it off, the light off, so you can see, or maybe down, dim a little bit, yeah. So you can see the sparkly, so see how sparkly Darley Dell is? It's absolutely beautiful. So there's a few tricks to making the marble tumbler, um, and one of them is letting your epoxy set for just a bit before um, you start to mix your colors on. Yeah, I sure am. Thank you, Lisa. So Lisa now has double entries. Doug, quit, quit. Lisa now has double entry. If y'all hear me yelling at Doug, that's my dog. Um, and he has my couch cushion, like my chair cushion, and I'm about to have to go get it from him. I don't know what he is thinking. I'm mixing part A and part B, and if you've never worked with epoxy before, you just mix equal parts. So, yeah, so like Maggie, you just it mix equal parts A and equal parts B, and your um, containers will tell you which is A and B. It really doesn't matter, and I'll mix the thinner one into the thicker one. Let me get my couch cushion for my dog. Go ahead. Are you crazy? <sighs> Y'all. He's insane. Okay. So I'm just going to put on my gloves because now I might be starting to touch the epoxy. Ariana, how you avoid the tiny bubbles is using a torch. Um, you want to make sure that you have a torch with this. Yes, Karen, he is. All right, you guys. Let me tell Matt that I actually need my torch. I brought out everything except for that. And watch, I'll use talk to text. Can you bring my torch? Got it. I love these lives um, because everything is just so real. You know what I mean? Okay, so about the heat gun. The heat gun is nice um, to move your colors around if you're going to do designs with your mica. Um, but... The torch is really what you need um, when you're popping bubbles. What's the little money symbol to the right? Okay, so that is a super chat, and I am going to be doing a giveaway. And so if you guys do a super chat, you will get double the entries. Um, Juanita, no, a blow dryer wouldn't work either. It's going to be about the same as a heat gun. And this is Rust-Oleum uh, paint. This is, I, I love Rust-Oleum uh, spray paint for my tumblers because it has the paint and the primer. <coughs> Look what Doug has done with that couch cushion. 
Don't use the torch on him. Yeah, the blow dryer is a good idea. It's just, it doesn't work. It works, it's gonna work like the heat gun. It's not gonna work like the torch. I think it's good enough. It's wet right there. Yeah, but I think the box will cover it. And then burn it. Okay, so what I like about using faux rizzle, and if you guys see the torch, Matt's trying to dry, yeah, it's drying it. Matt's trying to dry the wet spots on my cup. Um, what chalk paint, I don't use chalk paint actually. I never, I never have a need for it. Lydia said, what a good helper you are. Um, Cindy, these gloves are in my um, Amazon shop, and I will link all of that for you guys. Literally everything that I use will be in my Amazon shop for you guys to see. Okay, so I have my cup here, and I am going to go ahead and put the epoxy on it. <clears throat> No, all questions are welcome here. You can answer anytime. So, when you're priming and you do, and you have runs, is that what you mean? Runs in your epoxy? I mean, runs in your paint? Yeah, I do that. I do that often. Matt never does. And it's because Matt does super, super, super thin coats of spray paint. Multiple layers. So, like, he's not going to get a cup spray painted the first time that he goes to paint it, it takes him just a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to put a very thin layer of epoxy on here. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm gonna spread it out. Um, a thin layer of epoxy on here because I don't want my glitter to run. Then we're going to let it cure just a bit so that it's not runny and thin and my epoxy can't, um, the glitter won't run. It'll stay in place where I want it to stay. Does that make sense? Becca, I laid cardstock under my um, spinner to catch the uh, extra epoxy. I don't want it to get on my spinner. Alright, so is everything making sense to you guys so far? Do you have any questions? I'm happy to help. You do want to make extra epoxy for this project. You do want to make more than what you are going to just be putting on your cup um, because you are also going to putting, be putting some for the resin tint or epoxy dye or acrylic paint and I'll talk to you about that in just a bit. I'm just making sure that this is totally covered and even. <laughs> ASMR vibes. I like that. Do I prefer this over wax? Well, I can just toss it and it looks good for the video, I think. For the card stock is what we're talking about. Okay. So I'm just going to start to let this cure. I have rogue pieces of glitter in it. Y'all, glitter gets everywhere. How do I avoid tiny bubbles? A torch. And I'll show you how I use my torch. Okay, I'll change this glove out. So here's the torch that I used. And if you buy this off my Amazon shop, you will need to get the butane that I suggest to go with it. But instead of some people just really bear down, but I have burned cups that way. And so I just kind of pop it. Can you hear how it just kind of is popping over the cup? Also, I don't want to heat my epoxy up and make it run. Um, I just want to torch out the tiny little bubbles and get a glass like finish. Yes, Becca, it is everywhere. 
everywhere. Okay, so now that I have epoxy on the cup, which by the way guys, this is the cup that I'll be giving away at the end of the video. I am ready, I'm gonna move it off to the side and I'm ready to start mixing my glitters and my resin. Yes, I'm going to link everything that you need at the end of the video. And I use a torch every time, Heather. Um, you're always going to get a little bit, okay, sorry, this is Believer by Peachy Olives. You're always going to get a little bit of micro bubbles. It doesn't matter what epoxy you use, what method you use, how good you put on your epoxy, you will always get a little bit of bubbles with your application. So that's why it's so important to get a torch. Um, they're cheap, they last forever, you can refill them um, with butane. Yes, Ariana, um, faux rizzle is FDA compliant and it is also no VOCs. Okay, and this one is Darley Dale. Purple is my jam too, y'all. So I'm using medicine cups um, for this because I don't need a lot and I'll show you guys why. And then the resin tint, make sure that you shake it up and then you use very, very, very little. Um, not even enough to cover the bottom. Okay. And now I'm going to pour my epoxy into these little cups. So we can apply onto our tumbler. Just mix these together. Yes, the um, the torch really is um, a game changer. So resin tint is just what it is. It's only color for your resin. So it's not a mica powder. It's not going to give you any kind of shimmer. Um, it's only tint. This one is Believer, and look how beautiful this color is. It is so pretty. And this one is Darley Dale, which is one of my favorites from Peachy Olive. It's a really light lilac with tons. Let me turn the light up so you can see. Tons of shimmer. Yeah, Danielle, with the spinet, it just takes some practice. Um, I have found I had a tough time at first, um, and then I just kept practicing getting it straight on there, and then I finally got my groove, and now it works out well. How do I get rid of uh, the drips? Yeah, I just um, do multiple layers really lightly when I'm spraying. Okay, so let me put gloves back on. And I got these gloves recently. If you guys see, um, have seen my other videos, you usually see that I use blue gloves, but these black gloves, I have really small hands, and these black gloves fit really, really well, and they help me um, to protect from the epoxy that feel a little bit thicker. There's one spot that needs a little bit more epoxy on here. And I can already feel that it's gotten a little bit thicker than what, it, than what it was when we first started. And that's what I want. Because once I put these lines on here, I don't want them um, turning. Does that make sense? I don't want them rolling down the cup. Okay. So I'm going to start with my white. And I'm just going to use the gloved hand. And I'm just going to paint a vein down the side. which is kind of like 
you know, imperfect, you want to draw them out. And see how the resin tint is already kind of dispersing itself. And you can always save this and do this part again later if you uh, want to add more white to your cup. But I think with these cups, less is more. And I love using this white um, art resin resin tint because it really just kind of disperses itself. If there's a spot that you miss, it's okay. Try to be a little bit patient because the cup is going to turn right back around. Um, I know that sounds silly and you think, yeah, I know. But I get ahead of myself at times and I try to um, catch up with the cup. And you don't have to do that because it is going to come back around. Here's something else that I want to show with you guys. Take your popsicle stick and you can drag it through your veins and create more dimension and more lines. And that's a tip that I love to share um, with you guys with these marble cups. Can you see the difference? So I think that's really pretty. And I'm just using baby wipes to wipe off because they are just the saline. It's just pretty much like water. Um, there's no chemicals in these baby wipes. So it helps it to just kind of um, wipe off so I can reuse my materials. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start putting on my glitter. I'm going to start with the darker side first, and for some reason, I always put it on the right side of the marble. And because I let it sit for just a bit before I got started, it is thicker, and so I don't have to worry about it running down the cup. You can be patient with it. Um, just really be methodical and Doug, pay attention to where you want your glitter to be. Doug's as bad as my kids, y'all. Aren't these pretty, guys? Yes, we're gonna slather slather on the purples. See, that's where I'm talking about trying to catch up. I could have just waited, but I got impatient. Okay, so same technique with the popsicle stick. You can use it to drag. That's where it's a little bunched up. I wanna swirl them down. Then I'm out. It looks really good so far. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, you can put it on the bottom, and I'll show you what I do with my bottoms. Um, I don't think I have any epoxy. I just, I always sign the bottom of my cups that go out, and I just put a thin layer of that light purple. Okay, so now we're ready to put Darley Dill on there. It has thickened up. And now I'm going to place it on the other side, the opposite side. So now it's going to be on the left side of the marble. And that's what I love about Faux Rizzle is that it does... Um, cure faster. So like if you guys are using a Lumilite from Hobby Lobby, it is not going to cure this fast and you may have runs in your epoxy or with your glitter. And with Faux Rizzle, it cures faster, which means that I can get my cups out faster too. Um, because I make a hundred a month for my patrons. Let's see a place I want to put glitter. So beautiful. There we 
we go. There's where I want to put it. All right. And now I'm just going to take a gloved finger. Thank you for the super chats, you guys. Those are going to give you double chances into winning this tumbler. And now I'm going to put them on the bottom here. So I'll show you what it looks like on my other cup. Once I have this just like I like it. I love the marble part so much. I think the marble, the white, the art resin marble, the resin tint is what makes this cup so beautiful. Um, it just wouldn't be the same without it. It kind of just, like I said, it just kind of disperses itself. And gives itself almost like little cells. Yeah, thank you guys for the super chats. Those are, like I said, those are going to give you a double entry into winning this tumbler. Yay! Thank you, Erica. That means so much to me. All right, you guys. I would say, like, I don't want to do too much. So, I would say that this is pretty much finished. And it is done. So what I would do now is let this spin for eight hours. I'm going to, I can put these into molds, my extra epoxy and my extra glitters. I can put those into molds. Um, yes, for the patrons, there is a tier just for tumblers. Um, then after I let this spin for eight hours, I'm going to do, an, I'm going to sign the bottom of it. And then I'm going to do another coat of epoxy, and it should be finished to rock and roll. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so sweet. Um, if you guys want a double chance into earning or winning, and you can only do it right now. Um, once this goes off live, um, you cannot super chat anymore. So if you'd like a double chance, you can super chat. Um, if you want, let's see, I can see a couple of little, just little bubbles that I want to, and like I said, I don't want this to run. If I put a lot of heat, everything will shift and kind of move, but there are a couple bubbles, so I'm just going to pop my torch. Haley, I'll show you the bottom in just a second. Thank you for the super chat, you guys. Um, key, I wait about three days before mailing tumbler, tumblers out, and that way it gives them um, a really good chance to dry and be cure and hardened. All right, what do you guys think? Drop me an emoji if you like this tumbler. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to bring you guys down so you can really see the details. Let's see. There we go. Yes, you guys love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry if it's a little shaky. That's why I put you guys on a stand. These are so much fun to make. And you can really see the details. So pretty. All right, you guys. So here's what we do. Um, let me put this back up. Here's what we do on how, how are you going to win this tumbler. Oh, you want to see what the bottom looks like. This is how the bottom will look like when it's finished. So I'm just going to sign it for somebody to win this tumbler. 
And then I just took my hand and a glove finger and just put that Darley Dell on there. And this will be the finished project. Just like this, except for every one of these turn out different. And that's what I love so much about these marble tumblers. Um, how long does it stay on there? Forever, forever and ever. Um, or how long does it stay on the spinner? It's going to stay on the spinner for eight hours, not forever. But the signature will be on there forever. Um, and I just sign it with, um, I have my signature cut out with my Cricut. And I put them on the bottom. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to jump off of this live and I'm going to, um, the comments will then be able to be um, seen publicly. So I need you to comment again if you want to win the tumblers. Um, I am going to jump off at all of the links that you need to know. If I miss one, just leave me a comment and I will be happy to get you the things and the supplies that you need for these tumblers. They are so much fun to make. They are so absolutely beautiful. So let me jump off, then leave me a comment. All of the super chats have a double entry um, to win. And thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you, and until next time, bye guys.